Welcome audience, engineers, partners and clients. It has been a while since I communicated with you on social media, so I hope you're all well. So today I'd like to bring up the topic of the SCADA communication. And I'm sure you've been traveling on this uh, technology route really well and uh, gained a lot of experience and understanding of the SCADA systems. So today I'm going to revisit uh, this topic. As you know, the SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and the Data Acquisition. It's widely used in many industries, for example, power, water, transport, or oil and gas, renewable energy. As the technology matures, and it can generate more and more efficiency for plant operation and business operation. So that's why we see increasing trends of uh, utilization of the SCADA. We at ACE are specialized utilities industry. So our slogan is engineer the smart utilities. So we uh, use SCADA, design SCADA, deliver SCADA projects on a daily basis. All our engineers are very fluent, are very proficient with the various SCADA platforms, such as SciTech SCADA, GeoSCADA, or ClearSCADA, Factory Talk View, uh, and many other SCADAs as well. We also delve quite deeply into uh, cloud-based SCADA, for example, Ignition and VT SCADA. We are certified systems integrator for VT SCADA and already implemented a project on the VT SCADA locally here in Australia. When it comes to communication protocols for SCADA, the common ones include DMP3, Modbus, Ethernet IP, and OPC. There are some other protocols, as for example, IEC 104 has been used quite a lot in the power system industry in Australia. However, the install base of the DMP3 is much larger, especially when it comes to the water industry and the oil and gas industry. In some scenarios, power systems also use the DMP3 here. Uh, Modbus is also another prevalent communication protocol. It's a much older protocol uh, created in 1970s. Although it's an old protocol, it's very simple, efficient to use. That's why it's also been widely used, even for uh, the remote control and monitoring as well. As technology has been developed, DMP3 is being matured as well. So DMP3 is known for its time stand functionality buffered event functionality and the security as well. It's designed for the long distance communication if you have a, an asset in a remote area. And uh, when it comes to Ethernet IP, uh, it's widely being used in the plant operation. We have seen it's been used for the remote monitoring and alarms monitoring for a remote location, but it's been used less in that way, more in the local plant-based automation. The, the other protocol is called OPC, and OPC UA becomes popular as the automation develops itself because it has not only the timestamped the alarms, event, and information, but also it can be integrated seamlessly into the data history as well. So that brings a lot of advantages for the clients. They don't have to do a protoc protocol conversion between the field device, SCADA, and the data historian. So everything can be streamlined, and the record can be kept and fed straight into the data historian. That will create a lot of efficiency when it comes to engineering system integration, and also for keeping the integrity of the data as well. We are executing a lot of projects currently on SCADA. One of the projects we're executing using the DP3 protocol to establish trust, secure, and reliable communication between our stations and the GeoSCADA. And that particular application is for a local water industry. I hope you enjoyed this video and all other videos we produced so far. I really thank you for your faithful support. We really appreciate you like, uh, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, once again, thanks, thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, please give us a call or send us an email. We'll be happy to assist you. See you next time.